2 Timothy 3 verse 16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. Then the last part is what I want to see. For instruction in righteousness. That means the life of righteousness has certain instructions. So it's when we study the scriptures that we get these instructions of righteousness or instructions in righteousness. Luke 11 verse 21. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. Keep going. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, what he does is he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divided his spoil. So the devil does not just come for your money. He doesn't just come for what you have. He comes for what is keeping it. So he comes for your prayer life. So he came for your prayer life. You thought everything was fine because that's the strategy to come and take the armor in which you trust first then he will now divide the spoil by the time he divides the spoil there's no defense listen if you lose any, anything you lose everything and you've not lost your spiritual life you still have everything because life is controlled from the realm of the spirit go back to revelations laudations because thou sayest i am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked then he said next verse he said i counsel thee god is advising you he says i counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich that means god does not count who is rich the way we count it god does not count it the way we count it he says i i counsel thee buy of me gold tried in the fire gold tried in the fire is faith he said the trial of your faith being more precious than gold which is which has gone through fire so the trial of your faith so faith is that gold tried in the fire so what is jesus saying to them in revelation chapter 3 verse 18 i counsel thee buy faith buy faith from me so that you will be rich now he's not saying so that you'll be rich in the terms of stacking money in the accounts he says if you're going to be truly rich in the eyes of god it's your faith it's the faith of god in your spirit mark chapter 2 from verse 1 and again he turned into capernaum after some days and it was noise that he was in the house jesus right and straightway many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them no not so much as about the door and he preached the word unto them and they come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay verse 5 when jesus saw their faith not the sick man when jesus saw yes. their faith yes. the sight of god recognizes faith yes. that's why you should grow your faith jesus eyes did not see the sick man he saw their faith he responded to their faith when jesus saw their faith faith is tangible god sees it Luke chapter 18 verse 6 and the Lord said hear what the unjust judge said and shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him through the door he bear long with them next verse and I tell you that he will avenge them speedily but there's a problem nevertheless when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith that means God is looking for faith faith gets God's attention go to 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 4 we walk by faith not by sight remember we are in the sight of God okay for we walk by faith not by sight you should have said not by legs that means faith is our sight we don't see the way men see you might be looking at me and think i'm i'm ordinary i'm not ordinary what eyes are to the natural man is what faith is to the christian so walking by faith is walking by god's sight and that's why you're walking by what god's way faith is a currency that never goes outmoded faith was as valid in the time of abraham as it's valid today what faith could buy then can still buy now the only currency that does not depreciate I'm showing you how faith works. When we go to Romans chapter 6, Paul used our interaction with sin to explain it. In our interaction with sin, there are three things, but I'll talk about two. I'll read verse 5. He says, For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Next verse. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should, know, we should not serve sin. The first thing about faith is knowing it. You have to know what God said about it. You might not have the physical money, but he says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sins he became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich. So, first of all, knowing it, you might have nothing, but he said first, knowing it. In verse 11 he says, likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead unto sin. So the first one, he said, knowing this about sin, this one, reckoning this about sin. What is reckon? What's this, this word? This, that's what we are doing now. Now, the word reckon there is coming from a Greek word. The word is lokizomai. Lokizomai is an accounting word. Have you seen when you are doing accounting, you are balancing the books? So, because you know that the old man is crucified, he said, now come and sit down and balance the books. Because we know 
this is what God said about us but we don't yet see it in our lives we have to sit down and balance the books great God hallelujah just thank him this morning thank you choir thank him this morning Karo Sila Mandora Mashila Brakisto Lila Masula Mashikala Mandola Basu Predekea and he's causing you to ride upon your high places Mora Masaka but new levels are opening for you new levels of grace are opening for you New levels of blessings are opening for you. Leko rama sopre te kala maliandi. She kala ma is still a month of prophecy. Kala ma sopre kila baya. Le balaba baba shada ba. Kasota kaba. The spirit says to me, it's a time of new beginnings. It's a time of new beginnings. Malo she kala ma cobra kila ba salamanda laba. It's a time of new beginnings. Malo kapra kila baro sola ma she kala mandele bea. The Lord will show himself merciful on your behalf. He will show himself gracious on your behalf. 
yes thank you my father a time of new beginnings for you yes he said I've exalted one chosen out of the people yes and that's what is happening for you it's a time of promotion for you it's a time of spiritual promotion it's a time of educational promotion it's a time of promotion for you it's a time of promotion in business it's a time of promotion at work that's what the Lord is saying for you, to you today. Mola Mashi Kalamanda. Lift your hand and thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Lora Makasataya. For he shall perform that which he has said, and his words shall not go to him void. For the Lord shall move swiftly and speedily, and cause that word that he has spoken to come to pass. For nothing shall be restrained from the Lord. Yes, and nothing shall be stopped to see the spirit of god all that he has said will come to pass yes see the spirit of god this is the time this is the time see the lord this is the time for it to come to pass this is the time yes yes thank him thank him once one more time father we honor you we bless you in jesus mighty name our hearts and minds are open to receive lord today we'll receive from you and we walk out of this place head high because we have received. Lord, we thank you. Every single person here that's walking to this service will never go back the same. Even as we receive your word in Jesus' mighty name. And the people of God say a big amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. Are you blessed? So you say it like you're blessed. I'm blessed. I'm full of favor. The Lord bestows grace, favor, and honor. I am ever blessed. Never fainting. Never dry. Always blossoming. Always fruitful. The trajectory of my life is upward and forward. Nothing brings me back. I always bounce back. <laughs> I'm not talking to somebody here. Say, I've got victory. Always. Every day. Every day. It's a glorious day. Hey. I walk in victory. I walk in success. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm full of health. Say, my body responds. To the word of God say my body responds to the word of God say my liver now talk to your liver say liver respond to the word of God lungs respond to the word of God kidneys respond to the word of God the word is working in my body it's working in my soul it's working in my mind I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. No depression. No anxiety. I have a sound mind. I'm super intelligent. So I've got the wisdom of God at work inside me. Say the wisdom of God is at work inside me. Say look at me well. I'm intelligent. Ah. Uh, Say, I have the advantage. Say, I have the advantage of grace. I have the advantage of mercy. I have the advantage of favor. Say, I'm an advantage man. Oh, shout! Say, greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in the world. No, say that. I said, greater. Greater. Hey! Greater. Hey! Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. See, I'm full of grace. See, when people see me, they see the grace of God. So I walk in it. 
Say it's my reality. Now say I'm the manifestation of the truth. Every truth. Every good truth in the Bible. When you want to understand it, look at me. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. Wow! Oh boy. You should have been at the mess all night. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh boy, what an all night. I'm shining. I'm rainy. You know, have you ever people say, Oh, this bag is rainy? No, 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 no bag is rainy. I'm rainy. Yeah. So brakatakaya. I'm favored. I'm flourishing. See, I'm favored and flourishing. F and F, you get it? Yeah. Favored and flourishing. I don't come down. See, I don't come down. I don't come down. When you see me down, it means you have turned upside down. Yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Ooh. <laughs> if you went to check Forbes for rich, latest richest men, you were looking at the wrong place. You should have checked the sight of God. Because it's different there. When you go there, you see us there. Am I talking to somebody here? A, a, Christian, a Christian musician is happy he has been called to Grammys. Something is wrong with the, how they were raised. They were not raised with the proper value systems. You mean unbelievers sat down and they rated your worship to God? They sat down and they said, ah, this guy, the way he worships his God is nice. Let's, then you are happy. It's like, it's like you have achieved something. There's a way we see things in the sight of God. God sees things differently. The power of God is so strong this morning, eh? And it's working inside your body. Those confessions you were making, do you know what was happening? Your body was responding. Your spirit was responding. The Bible says, and we all have the same spirit of faith. There's a spirit of faith. What's the spirit of faith? He said, I believe, therefore have I spoken. So when you believe, you don't keep quiet. When you believe, you speak. I'm shining. I'm raining. Over circumstances. Over the dollar. Ah. Over exchange rates. Over the economy. Over transportation. I read. Now talk to the talk to the economy that surrounds your life. Say economy. Take it.
business. Take it. Bank account. <laughs> hey. 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 Take it. Momo account. Hey. 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 Take it. Prophesy to the account. high places places you never thought you would ever be you know sometimes when I give these prophecies I tell you what the spirit of God is saying it might look so far-fetched until people start sharing their testimonies during the men's all night there was a prophecy I give a Friday miracle night the guy came to share his testimony exactly what I said You see these men, these men who are telling their own, watch out for these men. I said, watch out for them. You see, the, spirit, the Bible says, until the spirit be poured. He said, when it's poured, he said, the wilderness will become a fruitful field. So sometimes someone's life can be so dry when the spirit is poured. Look at him again. He said, and when the person is already a fruitful field, when the spirit is poured again, it becomes a forest. This, those were the kind of meetings we attended years ago. We had nothing. By the time we closed, said, we feel like taking the chair home. But all those prophecies uttered under the rain. They always come to pass. The sisters, don't worry. Once the Lord speaks to me, we'll have. have. Once the Lord speaks, the Lord hasn't told me anything. I'm just following protocol. This Friday, we are on again. I'm shining. I don't know why I keep saying I'm shining. Something is shining somewhere. Yeah. I'm shining. That's what Isaiah 60 verse 1 says. Sarise, shine. Matakabaya. A city set upon a hill cannot be hidden. He said, let your light so shine. I'm shining. I'm shining. And men are seeing it. I'm shining. And men are seeing it. Yes. Yes. It's making the headlines. Ah. Are you sure you are here? Favor is yours. Victory is yours. The blessing is yours. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You're winning. You're winning. You are winning. You are winning. Always. Sit down for a moment. I'll always be fruitful. 
I'll always be fruitful. I always have money. If you are waiting for me to be broke, you are joking. I always have money. When I speak, money responds. When I speak, people respond. When I speak, favor responds. God said concerning Jesus, He said, This is my beloved son. He said, Hear ye him. Who was he telling to hear him? He was telling the creation to hear him. That means everything can hear. That means money can hear me. That means opportunities can hear me. Opportunities speak to speak, says, Opportunities come my way. Oh. So opportunities come my way. They are coming to me. They come to me. I said they come to me. The, 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 the church was not up to 100 people. And I prophesied. I told them, I said, people will take flights to this airport and and the, at that time, the church, that's why it's quite positive, we were close to the airport. I said, they will come to this airport to come and look for us. Wow. We are not up to 100. It has happened over and over. Yes. Yeah. So people took flights. Now, now, when we have end of year camp, people are thinking of how they will book their ticket. No word of God is useless. When you are speaking, you are prophesying. Believe it. You will sign documents in offices you never thought of. Favor, 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 favor. I'm favored. I'm favored. I'm favored. I'm favored every day. I'm favored everywhere. I'm favored every day and I'm favored everywhere. I'm favored every day and I'm favored everywhere. I'm favored every day and I'm favored everywhere. Yes. Sit down for a moment. Let me try and see if I can preach. Because these confessions keep bubbling up inside me. I'm full of faith. I reveal God's glory everywhere. In every nation. Anytime I get there. God's glory is revealed. Anywhere I get to people begin to see God's glory yes because God has glorified me yeah Wilson do you believe it yes yes yeah. I think you should keep these boys in front here like this so. they really believe Mata Kalabaya Nana, are you listening? Yeah. You are going somewhere. Yes. So you believe it. Yes. And you begin to walk like that. Oh boy. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm even entering the message. Yes. So prakataya. I'm flourishing. I'm flourishing. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm taking over. Taking over. Yeah. Sit down for a moment. Running over, running over. 
time of Jesus, you, you, you would say the same thing. When he was baptized, the Bible says that the spirit drove him into the wilderness. And that word drive over there means he was running. <laughs> so, 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 the Jesus you read at gentle Jesus, meek and mild, when he came out of the water, <laughs> Because there's something about the life of the spirit. You begin to act in a certain way. You begin to move a certain way. Sometimes you're praying. Have you ever found has it ever happened to you? Sometimes you're praying and you just notice that your hand is just moving a certain way. Yeah. If you are not trained in spiritual things, you think, what's wrong with that guy? It's can't you stand and pray. But it's spiritual, you understand. It's, it's, it's the spirit. You're, you're moved by the spirit. Yeah. Are you sure you're here? Yes, sir. I'm favored. I'm favored. And I had to say, I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'm not normal. I'm not normal. I'm not ordinary. I'm not ordinary. I'm supernatural. I'm supernatural. Sit down for a moment. Boy, boy, boy. Thank you, choir. The seat is hot. Boy. Are you ready for the biggest amount of money in your life? New levels, new levels, new levels. For what? Not for spending. For the propagation of the gospel. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Something just happened. Yeah. Something just happened. From nowhere, just nothing, something just happened for the person. It's the power of God. Yes. So you keep making, you keep talking like that. The word is working. It's working. Sit down for a moment. Thus hear the Spirit of God unto you. I will so favor you. I will so favor you. 
that people who rejected you will begin to come over to you. They will come and speak with you. They will come and say, surely we have seen that the Lord is with you. Because of God's favor that will be shining over your life. You will see glory upon glory. You will see blessing upon blessing. Matokalabaya. The Lord has set you forth as an example of His manifold grace, His blessings and mercy. So prakataya masula mashana na na ba, matokara basi kabarono si kala matala na ba. Kora masika la matala ba 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 ba. Sobre kala ni andela o si akomandeli. Kori ski marono mo si ne mendeli me. Molo mo molo bo sulo bo sulo. Ima kaba sana na mayama. Keep speaking, keep speaking. God of 
seat above the cherub If you're spiritually sensitive, you notice that something is going on in your spirit, and that's what God is looking at right now. What's going on in your spirit? Yeah. Let me try and see if I can share something with you. You'll be known all over the world for God's blessings, for God's grace. God is the one speaking and he's saying it, that you make it happen. You make it happen according to his grace, according to his favor and his mercy. His power will make it happen. Man will have no claims to what God is doing in your life. God will prove it that he's the one doing it and he will cause it to come to pass you will be so fruitful you will be so blessed so favored to the amazement of all men they'll look at it and say surely the Lord is with him surely the Lord's blessing is with him yes that's what the Lord says that's it. That's it. I will so gloriously grace you, see the Lord. So gloriously furnish you with beauty and honor and glory around the world. Men will speak of you and they will speak highly of you. They will acknowledge the grace of God that is given to you. And those who have not accepted it before, say the Lord, they shall come to accept it, that the Lord is with you. And His grace is made manifest in your life. Yes. I will make it happen, say the Lord. And no man can gain say it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. New levels for your people, oh God new beginnings for them new levels for them new levels for them new levels for them new levels for them yes you are taking them Lord you are causing them to ride upon the high places of the earth you ride upon your high places that's what the Lord is saying you ride upon your high places you ride upon your high places the confirmation of God's blessing your life. This is the season for it. It's the season of that confirmation of it. Yes. Yes. It's the season of the confirmation of God's blessing in your life. Yes. Like the scripture says that we are epistles of Christ known and read of all men. Yes. This epistle will be known and read of all men. They will begin to read your life like an epistle. And it will be as though they are reading the Bible. They will be looking at your life and they will be seeing the Bible play out in your life yes because the Lord will beautify you gloriously yes yes thank you Lord Oof. thank you Lord 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 
Thank you, Lord. For the Lord shall make you a pillar in the kingdom. He shall make you a pillar in the kingdom. He shall make you a pillar in your family. He shall make you a pillar. A pillar. He shall make you a pillar. The Lord shall make you a pillar. He shall make you a pillar. Lord Ramakaros Keparinaya shall make you a pillar. Lord Karamasila Mantekela Masula Maya. God is going to so bless you. People will rejoice at the sight of you. They'll rejoice when you are around. You'll rejoice when, they, when you are around because they know that when you come around, that means blessings for all them. Yes. 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 You know, the Lord is ministering to you. Even as he's it, ministering to all of us, he's ministering to you, specially, directly. He's speaking to you. Yeah. La Roma Kai Kasomea. Malakishta la Bagora Salimande. I'll give you wisdom. I'll give you wisdom. I'll give you wisdom. I'll give you wisdom. Wisdom that sounds like the wisdom of the aged. It will sound like ancient wisdom. But the Spirit says, I'll give you that wisdom. And you shall function in that wisdom. And people will begin to look at you when you begin to function in that wisdom. And they'll be wondering, how do you know these things? Because the Lord will give you the wisdom. He'll give you the wisdom to handle that business. He'll give you the wisdom to handle that job. He'll give you the wisdom to handle that assignment. That wherever you find yourself, people will begin to wonder, how did you come about this? Because the Lord has given you wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom to manage things. Wisdom to excel. Wisdom to excel. Wisdom to grow and, grow and flourish. Yes. 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 Kola Mashila Mantele Besa. Thank you, Lord. Where's uh, where's Beatrice? Beatrice, who works at Access Bank. Where's Beatrice? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Happy birthday, Patrick. Come. Pray for God's blessings in your life. Pray that the Lord will open your eyes. That you continually see. See the road of your life. The map that he shows you. That you continually see it. And walk therein. I pray for you that the Lord will cause everything that he has destined for you to come to pass and cause no man to stop it thank you Holy Spirit where's Beatrice? Beatrice in epignosis is where's she? is she, is she the Absa rather? come again Oh, interesting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God's word is sure. Sure. The surety of a surety. These words shall come to pass. Of a surety. Thank you, Lord. It's promotion time. It's promotion time. Come, that, that young lady, come with that young lady. It's promotion time for you. Come. It's promotion time for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's promotion time for you. The Lord will cause His word to come to pass. Yes. It's promotion time for you. And your family, see the Lord. It's time for those prayers that the family has been praying to be answered. It's time. It's time for a complete turnaround in the family. Thank you, Lord. Oof, thank you, Lord. Joy. No, 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 not her. Is she also in epignosis? Okay. Okay, the other one. Okay. Thank you, Lord. I'll pray for her, but 
I'm, I just want to follow the instructions the Spirit of God is giving me right now. Yeah. 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 Oh, glory. And blessings. And blessings. Blessings. All over your life. All over your life. God will pardon you for the mistakes. Can we come? Can we come? God will pardon you. He'll pardon you. That's it. God's going to pardon you. He's going to pardon you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is going to pardon you. And He'll give you opportunities again. He'll give you the opportunity again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I'll glorify you this year, the Lord. I'll glorify you. I'll glorify you. I'll cause my grace to come out of you to bless other people. Said so through you, I'll bless many people. Through you, I'll bless many people. See the Spirit of God. Through you, I'll bless many people. That's what the Spirit says. Through you, I'll bless many people. Many people will be blessed because of you. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oof. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Uh, now I don't know if I'll be able to share or not okay let me try and see I see that I still see this promotion it's like God bringing you in front he is bringing you in front yes thank you Lord thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I sit up for a moment. Let me see if I can share something. The stars displace your greatness and your wonder. Every sparkle and every twinkle explain your beauty. The sun displays beauty on your shine. Turning a 
The stars display the greatness in your wonder. Every sparkle in every sparkle in every twinkle explains your explains your beauty further. The star the sun displays displays the beauty of your.
As he made your life beautiful. The lips of all sing it. done something this morning he's done it he's done it he's done it he's done it I'm shining I'm still shining <laughs> yeah! <Oof. laughs> I'm shining I'm rainy I'm moving forward. I'm making progress. Yes. And nothing, nothing can change that. No devil hatched out of hell. No witch, no witch, no, no, nothing can stop it. It's settled. That I'm shining, I'm winning, and I'm making progress. I'm moving forward by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. You are. You're shining. You're raining. You're moving forward. And you're making progress. You are advantaged. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. And I'm full of God's blessings. Do you remember Deuteronomy 33 when Moses was prophesying to Naphtali? He said, I uh, own, own Naphtali. <laughs> oh, Pastor Enoch. Oh, you did not say it well. Oh. Oh, you can mention my name. I like it. Oh, Pastor Enoch. Satisfied with favor. And full of the blessings of the Lord. Now give me that. Deuteronomy 33 verse 23. And of Pastor Enoch he said. Oh Pastor Enoch. Yeah. Satisfied with favor. And full with the blessings of the Lord. Possess. Yeah. 
know, when, when, when God wanted to give Abraham the world, God didn't go signing documents. It's all like, it's all, you, what, you don't understand. There are some buildings in town now. The owners are here. <laughs> <laughs> in their name for now the owner is here no think about it think about it think about it god says abraham look everywhere is as far as your eyes can see i've given it to you meanwhile there's a king there, there's a king there's a king of that place but god says i've given it to you Normalize driving past buildings and say, I buy you. <laughs> hey! Listen to what I said. That's a prophetic word. I said there are some buildings. They are in town now. But the owners of the building are here. Listen. When God sent for David to be anointed, Saul was still on the throne. But as far as God was concerned, Saul was away. So it might, it might look like you're joking. But it's yours. Yeah. I'm talking to owners of industries. Masaka Talabaya. Years ago, years ago, regional pastor said he went to a shop. When he went to the shop, he went to ask the prices of things. They started telling him, telling him, he didn't have the money. He told them, I'll be back. When he went back, he said, I buy you. The money didn't show up that year. He could not buy it. Two years later, he bought everything. You see, when you look at faith, when you look at faith in the natural, Every man of faith must look like a fool in the beginning. If you were in the time of Abraham and you see that he has changed his name from not being a father to being a father, he still does not have a child. Don't you think he's crazy? You say it as word, pass inside the head. Every man of faith must look like a fool in the beginning. There are some people who have rejected you, you will employ them. Yes! 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 Listen. When I was in uni, when I was going to uni, there was, there was an exam we needed to write. When we were all writing the exam, before we, before we, we wrote the exam, people were studying, they were afraid. I was sitting down. You know, when, you have, when you've been taught the message of faith, I was sitting down and I was going from person to person. I said, you guys are letting know. I was just walking. I'm telling you the truth. Holy Spirit is here. I cannot lie. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you the absolute truth. I was going from person to person. I said, you guys are learning. Oh. I said, okay, you put friends and come meet me in the school.
That's what I told them. And I told them something. I said, and when you guys come to the school, I'll teach you some things. Listen. Let me tell you something. I did not enter school that year. I didn't enter the school that year. Plot twist. I did not enter the school that year. I looked like a big fool. But I did not change my confession. The next year, I entered. When I entered, I started a fellowship. All those people became my members. Now remember what I told him. I said, when you enter the school, I will teach you something. You see, when you make your confession of faith, don't also plan how it will happen. The reason why you thought it did not happen is because you planned how it should happen. In Romans chapter 10, he said, don't say in your heart, who shall go up and bring Christ? Come on, let's go there. Romans chapter 10. Let's just hold your Bible like that so that I don't start preaching. Even though I've started Verse 6. He said, But the righteousness which is of faith speak it. Go to, let me start from verse 5. Let me start from verse 5. In verse 5, he says, For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man that doeth, this is the Old Testament. The Old Testament is about doing. He said, The man that doeth those things shall live by them. But God brought a new order. He says, for them, uh, for, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh. Listen, if you were in, in, in class, one class, two class, three, primary school, GSS, and they were always writing your name for names of talkative, don't waste your talent. <laughs> Me, they were always writing my name. Don't waste your talent. When you wake up in the morning, start speaking. My life is moving forward. I'm making progress. I'm never fainting. Never dry. I'm accepted everywhere. I'm Pastor Enoch the favored. I am Pastor Enoch the accepted. I am Pastor Enoch ever victorious. I'm full of grace. Let me tell you something. I've told you before. If you come from a poor family, there's work on you. Why? They've told you that you amount to nothing. They've already told you. They've already tried, programmed you. So when you come to the house of God and, and, and we say, act your faith, speak, you, you feel like it cannot be that easy. It's easier for a rich man to believe this. So you come out of it. You believe the word. Don't let the start. Don't, don't, don't let the word start co coming from negative, correcting you negative, negative, negative uh, for two years. I was having a conversation with someone this this week. It was a very funny conversation. We're talking about how, you know, like uh, maybe sometimes you are taught in business and, you know, that you must fail before you can make it and fail. I said it's true. I said it's true. I said, but there's a provision in the word of God 
that can make you not feel and just keep moving. Uh -huh. You see, some people will now be thinking, how is that possible? Because in your life, for example, in my life, I was bad and I became born again. So I think everybody must be like that. There are some people, they were never bad. They just got born again, started working with God from the beginning, just kept going. You see, I have a different, because people like these stories. Oh, I met a man of God. He was a bad boy, he was smoking weed, and they think that that is a real man of God. Even though I came like that, I'm not, no, I don't like. You see, you always people want those kind of stories. It was bad from grass to grace. In the kingdom of God, there's no grass to grace. The Bible says from grace to grace. Oh, they like the story. They, you know, I know this person and nothing was working in his life and he was down and he fell and one day someone met him. It's nice. It's a kind of light. But there's a provision in the word of God that when you catch it, The first time I heard Pastor Chris say he does, he does not fail the first time. I was like, oh, no, how, how is that possible? He said, no, anytime he starts something, he said he does not have to fail it to learn it. I said, nah, nah. I never saw Jesus. I never saw Jesus go to the Red Sea. He tried and he fell. Then he came out. I said, we shall do it again. <laughs> Believe in the righteousness of God. That's what it's called. The ability to do the right thing the first time is called the righteousness of God. Instead of not believing it, go and meditate on it. Whatever you know, there's a higher level. Go back there. But the righteous which of faith speak it on this wise. Then he says, This is the, what, what I was I quoted. I said, Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. He said, Don't ask those questions. Next verse. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring Christ again from the dead. See, he said, your questions are too many. This one, all these questions you're asking, how will it happen? And uh, how, will I, how, how will I get it? How will I get the money? How will I get it? Who shall make it happen? Who shall? Then he says, verse 8. He said, but what seeth it? That means, what seeth this feet? What seeth it? He said, the word is 90. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. The word preach over there is not preach. It means the word of faith which we speak. He said that word, instead of asking, he's telling you, instead of asking where shall it come from, who shall bring it, he said just speak the word. I'm moving forward. I'm making progress. Yeah. I'm shining. I'm raining. I'm ruling. I'm ruling. Yeah. Yeah. I exercise dominion. I'm the favorite. Boy, boy, boy. So pray kita kalaya. Everywhere I find myself, I'm accepted. I'm accepted. I'm accepted. There are some testimonies because we are online, I can't share them. Because the, the people who I used to share the testimony, they are probably watching me. <laughs> Keep speaking. Don't stop talking. Are you listening? When you wake up in the morning, before you pick your phone and call, and call one, You just wake up in the morning and say, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining. I'm raining, I'm raining, I'm raining, I'm raining. I'm raining. I, I dominate. 
I dominate. In my area of business, I dominate. I dominate. Are you listening? Nobody charges you for talking big. I said nobody charges you for talking big. I'm a giver. giver. In millions of dollars. dollars. I'm a giver. giver. Hey, hey. You you, you are shiny. You are shiny. (laughs) Your faith is working. Your faith is producing results. Yes, strong. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm sure I can use like 30 minutes to share something. Believe, believe, believe. Believe God, oh. down for a moment <laughs> just a moment eh? I'm the pastor of the richest the largest the biggest the most influential brethren in the nation of Ghana My brethren are the biggest. They are the largest. The richest. And the most influential. Opportunities are opening for you in high places. Matakaso Kalakaya. Nobody can change my confession. Don't, 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 te- don't ask me what about another church. Ch- what, what business do I have with somebody else? Say, they are saying this one. What about the other? What business? What? I'm not compared myself with anybody. I said I'm the pastor of the richest. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The largest. The biggest. And the most influential. And you are that person. The richest? Matakalabaya. Masakataya. And those riches, some are here, some are still coming. Yeah! See, your mouth belongs to you. Use your mouth. Don't let somebody say something for you. Use your mouth. I'm shining. I'm raining. I'm excellent. I do big things. Yeah. Your company is rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. God is making your company stronger and stronger and stronger. Let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes the reason why God does not allow some companies, I I, I was explaining to you the last time. The reason why God does not allow some companies to rise is because they are not strong yet. So God is waiting for them to be strong. Because God doesn't want you to get to the top and then they use evil to kick you out. Because it's bloody at the top. So your faith must be strong. So sometimes God keeps you on the low and you'll be coming to church, you are learning, you are learning, you are learning. 
Then you are learning, you are learning, you are learning. It's not like God has not heard your prayer. And God knows that if he exposes you when you are not ripe, if he exposes you when you are not strong, they will just kill you. Good example. Jesus Christ, when he was a baby and Herod wanted to kill, God said, please run away. God. I thought God would come and stand and say, hey, that's my baby. No, he said, run. run. Sometimes God hides you for a reason. Because your, 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 your business is not strong. It's not strong. You have only two staff. And sometimes I test some people. They are praying, 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 praying. They come, pastor, I want my business to move to the level. Then I will give them work. Okay, produce this number of 20, 20 number of this one at this time. They are not able to produce it. You see, the prayer you are praying, you, you, you don't have the capacity for the answer to the prayer. That's why you'll be learning the word of God, be growing. You want your, your, your company to be known all over the world, but you have only two staff. So, you have to keep learning the word and building your faith and build the base. Yes, be strong. Yes, be excellent. God says, are you ready? The scripture says, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. Yes. He does not appear in his glory until he has built up Zion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's, that's one of the reasons why you must speak in tongues a lot. Yes, sir. Because that's one of the things that strengthens you. You speak in tongues. You speak in tongues. Sometimes you get to the top. They are evil men. See how politicians can be killing themselves. You are the one that gives money. They die for it. Yeah. They die for it. It's their God. So God is strengthening you. God is strengthening you. When you wake up in the morning, be speaking. Speak to your business. Speak to your business. I'm, go, I'm giving all of you a, an assignment. Go and listen to this mas- message by Pastor Chris. Write it down. Sound code and the spirit. This week, just be chewing it. Let it when you are sleeping, it's playing. You are cooking, it's playing. Instead of some rubbish phone call. Play it. There are, there are some messages when they start, I can say everything with pastor. I'm telling you, there are some messages when they start, like I can say everything. Coming to you with what? I can say everything. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, I can say everything. Pastor will say, why? I have drunk it. Drunk it. How come you can have challenges for you can have you can have challenge nobody knows you have challenge eh? we we'll when we were caught for two years nobody knew people thought their case has even died we were caught for two years but we're doing church <laughs> we're, we're having se- we're in court oh, but we're having service you never know we're still laughing and shouting and jumping and full of the spirit when the word is in you when the word is in you it's different Otherwise, we'll come back. You know, some people enjoy some, some people they enjoy their victimhood. Some people enjoy their victimhood. You ask them, what's that? They say, hmm. They, they love feeling like victims. How are you doing? Hmm. Hmm. Let me not mention anybody's name. They just love it. The confessions of faith we make, it is who we are. It is not occasional. It is who we are. Are you listening to me? The, the, the confessions you make is who we are. That is why when I'm going to pick, if you're going to pick an Uber, or you're going to pick a taxi, or pick something, and you want it the price to be brought down. You cannot say that me pacho miniska. You can't say. It. Otherwise, this thing is a church thing for you. It's not a church thing. You're only learning it here. It's for life. It's like, it's like I cannot bargain. Then maybe I'm the taxi driver. The taxi driver say, me can the amount pay the farm. Say, oh, me me your bar. Do you understand? Because who I am is, I am a man. I can't say, I can't even fathom it that I will say that I'm a woman. Do you understand? So, faith, when, 
You've not come to that level of faith. When, when your faith has not graduated into knowledge, an inner knowledge, I know I'm a man. You, I didn't learn it. Come on now. I, it, everything shows. Eh? So you cannot be a lady, you are going to pick, uh, uh, they said, oh, these tomatoes, they only sell it for men. They say, oh, that's exactly what you do when the word of God says something about you. You, you, you say in church, ah, I'm rich, I'm fully loaded, I have money always, I'm favored always. Then you get to a place and say, ah, this tomatoes is 50 grand. I say, hey, media minister. You have identity crisis. See, you cannot get me to say I don't have money. You cannot get me to say it. I'd rather say, oh, madam, tissu, tissu, mommy, tissu, oh. And they say, we have been coming here all the time. Uh, Reduce yeah. it for us. Yeah. Yeah. We are customer, we are customer, we are customer, we are customer, we are customer. But that you get me to say, oh, me patro, me nisika. I can't say it. I can't say it. I'd rather go home without the tomatoes. You have to understand it. It's like denying that I'm a man. I'd rather go home without the tomatoes. Than to deny who I am. When I was showing the three steps of faith last week. Maybe that's all I'll say. Because I told you I'll give you the third one. So Romans 6, 11. That's the first one. Knowing this. Are you sure you're here? Or you have gone home? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, keep standing. No, let's start from verse 9. We start with verse 6. Romans 6, 6. He says, knowing this. Now, why are we using this? Because the, the, the subject of faith that was treated in the New Testament was used in the area of salvation. So it usually was used concerning sin. So if you want to understand how faith works, you have to look at how it was used against sin so you know how to use it in circumstances. So he says, concerning faith, he said, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. So he says, knowing this, knowing this, that our old man is crucified. That means what happened when Jesus died was that the old man was crucified. He said, first of all, you need to know it. When it comes to your Christian walk, when it comes to your dominion, the first thing is knowing this. So what do you know? That's why faith is not strong head. Faith is not fake confidence. Faith is not vim. Faith is not a befa. I hear you have gone home. Faith is not a befa. Faith is not we go make them. Faith is first of all knowing this. There is no faith until the word is revealed. Knowing this. So concerning your life, what do you know? You see? What do you know? Knowing this. Your Christian life, wherever you see it, you are seeing the knowledge you have assimilated. Nobody can explain any other thing. Whatever you see now is the knowledge you have assimilated. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Then we come to verse 11, which is the second step.
He said, likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God. Now, last time I mentioned what reckon is, but let me explain it a, a, a little more. When he says, likewise, reckon ye. Hmm. Reckon. It's from this word that we have the word reconcile. And I told you the Greek word, logizomai. Logizomai is also where we have logbook. And I told you that it's an accounting word. It means what? Balance the books. Reconcile the accounts. Yes, sir. Because when you read that same verse in the NIV, you will see count. Mm. Go to the NIV. <laughs> in the same way, count. Okay, so what is the meaning of that? I'll give you a very good example of how to count or how to reconcile. You go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 14, a good way of doing this reconciling. Paul did it in a very nice way. Let's copy how he did it. He says, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. He's doing reconciling. He's saying, if one died for all, then we're all dead. That means one equals everyone. That, <laughs> come on. One equals everyone. Continue. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died and rose again. Okay? So, if one died for all, then we're all dead. So then, all those who are now alive should live unto the one. Reconciling. He's showing you a very good way of reconciling. If one died for all, then we're all dead. And that if all now live, they should now live unto the one that died and rose. So, if this is that. I just think when you are doing accounts, if Kwesi bought 50 tomatoes, tomatoes then I must get 5,000 Ghana CD. Yes, so if Kwesi bought 50 tomatoes and I have 2,000 Ghana CD, it means something is wrong. Yes, something is wrong with the account. Yes, so the account is not balancing. It's not reconciling. Okay? Yes, Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13. <laughs> Verse 5. Come and, see, come and see balancing now. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So now balance the book. Verse 6. He say, So that we may boldly say, So, let me tell you this. The secret of faith is not in the quoting of the scripture. It's in what you say because of the scripture. <laughs> you, 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 I, it's just to enter your spirit. You, you have to get the thing I'm trying to say. It's not, <laughs> it's not in the quoting of the scripture. It's in what you are saying because of the scripture. He said, so that we may boldly say. That's, okay, so he says, the old man was crucified. Because the old man was crucified, he says, start counting it like that. Mm. So, let's say, maybe the person has a problem with masturbation. Mm. Now, the first thing, if he's going to come out of it, is that, he, since he's a Christian now, he has to know it, that that body that does that is dead. Yeah. Now, Physically, it might look like it's not dead. Because he's still having the edge. But then he has to first know it. When he knows it, he has to count it like that. Because if he does not count it like that, he will not believe it. He has to reconcile the account. So the guy comes from a poor family. He has never seen 10,000 Ghana City before. The first, if 
he's going to come into what the scripture says concerning his finances. First of all, he has to know. He has to know that we are not talking about his mother and his father's money. So he has to know, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor. That we through his poverty might become rich. So first of all, he has to know it. Now, if he knows it, he has to now reconcile it. And say, oh, since that is the case, then I am not poor, I am rich. Why? Where is that coming from? It's from the balancing of the books. Because if the, if the scripture says one thing, and I'm saying another thing, it means I have not yet counted it as so. Lord is my. So when you study the scriptures, you don't study it to quote it. See, I quote scriptures, so don't, don't think I, I'm, not, I'm against quoting of scriptures. But the key is not in the quoting of the scripture. It is what the scripture makes me say. Why, why, can't, why, don't I, why can't I tell a driver or someone I'm buying something from, why can't I say I don't have money? Why can't I say it? I can't say it because it is inconsistent with the scripture. One time, Jesus was asked to pay taxes. And he was not supposed to pay tax. But he told Peter, let us not offend them. Let's just pay. You see, sometimes, don't fight with the mate until your dress is dirty. The mate said, is two cities left. He said, no, no. It's one city, 50 pesos. You have, to, you have to give my money. You have to give my money today. He pushed you on the floor. He said, you, you will see today, 50 pesos. <laughs> Jesus Christ said, let us not offend them. He said, Peter, go to the sea. The first fish you catch, there's a coin inside his mouth. Let's just pay. Let us not offend them. I'm prosperous. I'm blessed. I'm not looking at whatever they are saying. They said, oh, you, they went to a certain prophet. They said, your family generational curse. That's them. That's them. <laughs> Count. I see, I see. Do what? Count. You have to reconcile it. Reckon. He said, likewise, reckon ye that it is so. Then the third one. You ready for that one? Yes, Are you ready? Yes. You know, the things I'm sharing with you, like Gladys was saying, the scriptures, everything I gave you, when pastor came up, same thing. Same thing. Because truth is truth. Who's around you? Have you ever done that balloon before? Yeah. Usra undi. Usra undi. They say choose number this, number this, Usra undi. Uh, ajala one, ajala two. <laughs> so brakataya. Verse 13. Kalabaya. That's the third one. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. The word yield there. It's a Greek word, paristemi. <laughs> today is today. <laughs> That's a Greek word, empire bigger. <laughs> paristemi means show up like that. So, I know it. I count it like that. I show up like that. So you can't reckon it that you are prosperous. Oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I just thank God for some of the access that I have had. I've, I've seen the word proven. I traveled to regional pastor. We were going, we, we did a transit. So we have to move from one flight to the other. Now, the guy made us 
The guy made us late. The guy who was supposed to take us to dinner, he made us late. Now we are going to the other airplane. As we are going, the guy said, hurry up, hurry up, let's go. Regional pastor said, no. He was walking. The guy said, please, sir, please, sir. He said, sorry, I'm a king. I have to walk like this. If you like, move the plane. And here I was, me two at the back. Yes, did you hear him? Did you hear him? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I have acted my faith in many things. Maybe I would have run if it was only me. If it was only me. Hey, they will leave me up. They will leave me up. From that day, I said, what? I will never run again. When you live here today, you have to go and practice new workings. Because you have to show up like that. Hey! Show up like your confession. That's why I tell you. That's why I tell you. When you are coming to church, dress well. When you are going for an interview, dress well. I didn't say dress expensive. Dress well. If the, 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 the clothes that might not be expensive, I own it well. Show up like your confession. Don't say it doesn't matter. It matters. If it is natural hair you want to do, do it well. Put oil inside it. And let it be shining. Don't do it like tomorrow, tomorrow you'll be arrested. If you're a young man, your confession says you are somebody special. Your confession says you are going somewhere to happen. Then you, don't, you didn't use deodorant. How? You did not show up like that. You need to show up like that. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't say, boys, boys, yeah, call, boys, boys, yeah, call. No, from today, you have to change the way you walk. From today, you have to change the way you show up. Because you, are, you, knew, you know this, knowing this. Am I talking to somebody here? Knowing this, that, knowing this, someone should give me a scripture, nine scripture. So we're going to go from there. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of the sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful, but is delighted in the law of the Lord, and that law he meditated day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, whose leaves do not wither, and whatsoever doeth shall prosper. Knowing this, I come to reconciling this. That means I prosper in everything. That means in everything I do, I prosper. That means when you want me to be on a project with you, I'm going to prosper the project. So I'm not going to come and be begging, oh, please, please, please make sure you employ me. Please, please, please. I beg you, I beg you. I'm not eating for four days. I beg you. When I come into your meeting, I'll say, sorry, sir. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to work here. This business is going to do well. I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> hey! Hey! You show up like that. Tomorrow morning, show up your office like a king. Show up at your office like a king. Show up at your office like a king. Don't show up at your office and say, hey, I did not, I did not, I did not wear my sandals before coming. Uh, the cocoa seller delayed me. The cocoa, the cocoa seller delayed me. The cocoa, no, no. Instead of running like that, why don't you wake up earlier? Then you walk like a queen. You walk like a king to the to the to the office. Walk, you just walking majestically. But every time you are late, you are oversleeping. So you are coming to the office. Hey, hey! Two minutes to the end of. No, 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 no. You show up like your confession. Am I talking to somebody here? Paristemi, it means to yield or to present or to show up like that. Because of that, listen to me, because of that, 
when we have this this understanding there were some videos we'll never take there are some pictures we can never take it's degrading to us Your leg like a corner kick. <laughs> the dress you wore, everybody's seen. Show up like your confession. Yes, sir. I was a certain lady. Well, different ladies and what they allow. But once I saw this lady did not want to allow this, I said, fine. She wanted to do a dress, and the person to measure her was a man. She said, no. Why? You'll be measuring me. You'll be passing your hands around. No, I can't do that. She said, no. So, but is that going to soak? No. Please get a lady to do it for me, please. You show up like your confession. You say you're expensive. Be expensive. That's how faith works. Bible says Jesus saw their faith. The woman with the issue of blood. Eh? She used the same principle. Bible says she heard about Jesus. You know that this guy, this man is a healer. This man, they say he can heal me. He said, Bible says she said to herself. That means knowing this. She said to herself. If I would touch the hem of his garment. She knew that the guy, the man is a healer. Then she reckoned it that if I touch that, that, that logbook. Knowing she knew she knew something about the man. The, the man, the man is a healer. The man got some power. All right? And he said, she didn't say, I'm sitting down, the power should work. No, he said, okay, because of that, if I touch, I will be whole. She balanced the books. Then when the man came to pass, she showed up like that. Ah. I'll never be broke in my life. You, you didn't say it well. I'll never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I'll never be poor in my life. I'll not be poor. My children will not be poor. I'll never be poor in my life. You are, you, you are, you are not yet married, though. Yet you have already divided how you and your wife will share the bills. You are not even married though. You are already you are planning for you are already planning for scarcity. You have to understand. You are already planning for scarcity. You are not married though. Why, why, why don't you why don't you wake up in the morning and say you are not yet married say all bills will be paid. Let it be that when the lady is paying something, it's like nobody wants to outgive anybody. That's why you marry a lady who knows the word of God. Who's not only thinking of receiving. I'm saying it again. Who's not only thinking of receiving. She's also thinking of giving. 
Oh, baby, you pay the light bill, I'll pay the water. Oh, baby, you pay, I'll buy the foodstuffs. You understand? It's like, because both of you understand what it means to give. Not, as for me, you must always give me your money. Is your money missing? Is your money missing? I can do all things through Christ. You are not even married. You are already planning that there won't be money. So you will say. You have already planned ahead of time. See, there's something wrong with your faith. Knowing this. Reckoning this. And presenting this. <laughs> Bring out your offering. And let's keep our offering a close. I'm signing, I'm signing, I'm signing, I'm signing, I'm signing. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Romans chapter 5, verse 17. This is one of the things that you should know. Knowing this. I'm showing you some of the things you should know. Knowing this. This is what the Bible says about you. Some will be thinking, why are they saying they are raining? Only God is raining. Only God is raining. Why are they saying they are raining? I remember how... One time, one, one music minister went to sing. She said, take, take a look at me, I'm a wonder. Doesn't matter what you see now. Then one American pastor, I know sometimes they don't read their Bible well, so, you know. He said, I like the song so much, but I don't like this part. So said, how can you say you're a wonder? Only God is a wonder. I said, this one, I didn't read his Bible. He didn't finish reading his Bible. Let me say it like that. He didn't finish reading his Bible. Don't be quick to bastardize something you've not read. Say, how can they say they are raining? Only God is raining. Only God is raining. Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Knowing this, he said, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more, they which receive abundance of grace, and of the gift of righteousness, shall reign. I'm raining. I'm raining. I'm raining. I'm raining. That's why doing COVID. They thought COVID was raining. The virus was raining, so everybody was hiding. We were coming to church. Because that, it cannot rain. We rain. We decide what happens. No, he does not decide what happens. One guy, during the time we were coming to church, one guy sent me a message. He said, you people are very stubborn. You people are very stubborn. Stubborn. You know, Instagram, anybody can send you anything. You people are very stubborn. It's when somebody dies in a church that you people will know. Somebody, somebody that, who's going to die? Who's going to die? I'm joking. I reign. I reign. He says, if you receive the abundance of grace and you receive the gift of righteousness, which we have all received, we reign. Knowing this, that we reign, that I begin to reconcile it. I never act like a victim. I'm not a victim. There are some of you, you enjoy victimhood. When small headaches, small headaches, you go like, oh. anybody who has asked you, say, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, I don't know. It should just go and make you join dancing team or something. You're a drama, you're a drama artist. I don't know, every day, I don't know what's happening to me. Sometimes I just need someone to call him, to call him me. Sometimes I just need someone to call him me. Look at you. You finish and come to church on Sunday. I rain, I rain, I rain. Sometimes all I need is just a little cuddling. See your head. If adventure you are not feeling well. And you felt like the thing has taken you down. You're probably shaking. And they're carrying you to the hospital. Yes. You'll still be speaking. The word of God is in my body. The word of God is in my... Yes, it's better.
Pastor Chris said many years ago, he said about 30 to 40 years ago, they bundled him to the, the hospital. Because he was learning this thing, he was learning it. The fact that you just learn doesn't mean it will work immediately, but if you don't also learn it, you will not know it. He said, we're bundling him. How do we carry him? His family was carrying him. He said, I am not sick. I am not sick. He said, oh yeah, we know you are not sick. That's good. That's all. That's all. Oh boy. I remember one time they carried me to the hospital like this. Hi. Pastor Brown was carrying me to the hospital. I told myself I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back, Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. When they go in, they were pulling blood from me. I said, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> and I was back. <laughs> It's better than say, oh, oh, my family, oh, my family, oh, who will take out there for me, oh, oh, see you. Satakabaya, lekora masataya. Don't accept defeat. Don't accept defeat. Go ahead and give your offering. Oh boy, I've so enjoyed this service. Sola Matalabaya. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Give me some one verse three in the Passion Translation winning knowing this knowing this knowing this one time I went to play football I got so injured dragging my leg like this I came to church I preach if you like, call me a party do, I'll preach like that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't act defeated. Come at post with it. Like Pastor said, you have to learn it. A pain comes in your body. The first thing you are thinking of, paracetamol, paracetamol. No, before paracetamol, say, heal. One time I was having... Leaders meeting here. Then a pain just entered my right, my left side. I was just having a meeting here. And that's how, when, find out from most people who had terminal diseases, it was one sharp pain. They didn't, they didn't pay attention to it. It was just one sharp pain. Go and listen to their stories. I've dealt with a lot of sick people, so I know. One sharp pain. So I'm having this leaders meeting. The devil, I just, just feel this sharp pain. I just stopped and said, come out! I continued continue my meeting. That was the last time. Hey, life. Hey, life. Life is very... It's not easy. It's, it's not easy. Life is deep. <laughs> The guys are really helping me to preach today. <laughs> he will be standing firm like a flourishing tree. Planted by God's design. Aya, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss. Bearing fruit in every season of his life. Amen. Not some seasons of his life. Every season of his life. Amen. You know some people when they grow, they, they become poor. Why? All their life is they are waiting for their pension. If the government removes their pension, then they forget it. When they grow, they can poor. But he says, bearing fruit in every season of his life, whether he's young or he's old, every season of his life he can bear fruit. Then he says, 
he's never dry. Ah, I am Pastor Enoch, never dry. I am Pastor Enoch, never dry. I am Pastor Enoch, never fainting. I am Pastor Enoch, ever blessed. I am Pastor Enoch, ever prosperous. Never dry, never fainting, ever blessed, ever prosperous. That's my life. Tell somebody, that's my life. Tell, ask the person, say, do you see my life there? Before we close, we'll do something. you pick three scriptures, but you not call those scriptures. You have to log his or my. You have to balance the books. What will you say because of the scripture? You're going to say something because of that scripture. You pick three scriptures. If you don't know any scripture, ask somebody, Charlie. Give me something. <laughs> and tell the person that he's give you a good one. He's not going to give you one to you. <laughs> because some people are bad. <laughs> some people are bad. They will give you one to you, Torazin. <laughs> it shall be more abominable than the day of Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> no, tell the person. If you, don't, if you don't know any scripture, tell the person, Charlie. Give me scripture. I want good one. I want good one. Mataco sete ah. Sobre de calamaya. Kora masute kaya. Kola mashita laba. Shakroske madea.